It exists in the world a surprising number of people who are convinced that the Apollo space program was just a montage of the government or the, the United States military. These numerous conspiracy theorists are right about one thing, it was almost impossible that NASA managed to fulfill the commitment established by President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, stepped on the moon before the deadline. That is, before the end of the 60s. The key word in the preceding sentence is almost. If he did, it was largely thanks to good luck and drove the huge budgets, but above all, thanks to the talent and effort of many people. This was recognized at the time their own enemies of the Soviet Union, who had ability to track their antennae NASA spacecraft. Perhaps the memory of military reading the Bible on the moon or appeals heroic type failure is not an option are too outdated for the current sensitivity, but then to not recognize the talent of these men, and even deny that his deed took place, there is a long way by which we should keep walking, if only for fear of ridicule. The Apollo for a generation symbolized the desire for a better life. One way a dreamer both thought that in the 21 century humans would live on the moon or Mars, would kitchens and appliances inspired by space technology and even would have befriended alien civilizations. During the filming of 2001, A Space Odyssey, before the actual crew of astronaut Neil Armstrong on the moon, the director Stanley Kubrick tried to take out insurance to cover the losses of the film if they produce a contact with extraterrestrials before its release. Insurers did not want to risk that. Recalling these unrealistic expectations, the results may seem disappointing. However, many of the technologies we use every day, from communications satellites to breathable shoe soles are the result of space research. As for contact with other beings, nor the balance it is negative. We've only studied with some dedication a planet, Mars, and it is already possible to say that the perfect conditions for the development of life were in it. It is not the same as finding little green men that solve all our problems and bring peace to our world. Although, given the early stage of development of space exploration, the result could not be better, you cannot win the league playing a single game. Above the United States strategic interests or historical peculiarities of the Cold War, Space exploration is associated in the collective imagination the desire to excel, high technology and the use of knowledge in solving practical problems. These are the tools that allow us, among other things, to live much longer, and we can take literally anywhere we want, even to the moon and beyond. The Apollo program is the symbol of this way of seeing life. But conspiracy theories seek to turn scientific and technological development in an evil instrument, designed from the highest levels to control trick the thinking of others. Despite this, it is a case that has received very little attention being from the scientific establishment, mainly for three reasons. One tends to think that only superstitious and ignorant doubt the moon landing, it is considered a minor problem and, being a historical discussion is believed to not harm the future of research. However, the reality is that this crazy belief is more widespread than others that itself is fought by all means, such as creationism, and the arguments of those who defend it are too elaborate to someone who has not studied in depth the issue can refute. In addition, the theory of the lunar conspiracy extends a bad image of science and technology, so compromises the support of citizens to these activities. In fact, reports indicate not only the supposed impracticability of the lunar voyage, sometimes, critics believe that this really took place but attributed all sorts of hidden and malevolent intentions that have carried out behind the backs of the citizens and above, 
with your money. It is very difficult to convince a fan, if someone thinks that the moon is an ethereal body or that the United States is incapable of telling the truth under any circumstances, it will not help much to read on. On the contrary, it is possible to respond to each and every one of the specific questions that have been able to plant the conspiracy theorists. Some of the most widespread accusations, but by no means the only, are of a technical nature and relate to different photographic be evidence of the alleged irregularities assembly. We stop them, the American flag flies, but on the moon there is no wind it is one of the most common arguments, and perhaps the most symptomatic of psychological bias that often show in their arguments the conspiracy theorists. Of course on the moon has no atmosphere, why, despite what you believe to have seen or have heard out there, the flags are kept in a perfect state of stillness, as shown videos of missions. Only they flutter for a few moments after being manipulated by astronauts, as is logical. In fact, since the moon there is no air to halt their movement, make for some more time than would be normal for Earth. For this reason, in some sequences in which astronauts have already left the plane, it seems that is shaking the wind, but this effect is only due to inertial motion trailing since they were nailed to the floor. Then they stop completely, spread out on a horizontal slide that prevents falling on the mast. The reason for presenting a wrinkle in all photographs is not entirely were deployed across the slide so we always see the same fold in all images, something that would not be possible if the wind moved the flags. Any viewing of movies from NASA show that the flag does not fly and maintains its original, slightly wrinkled position throughout the film. It also appeared extend how astronauts avoid it altogether, in order to give the false appearance of mobility posing in snapshots. This is conclusive proof that it has been on the moon and that anyone can observe at home, accessing recordings over the internet. In some pictures missing reticles, which shows that they were added later and the images are false. Cameras missions Apollo contained a series of grids or crosses that helped focus the image and measure distances between objects. In some of them, some of these brands seem to be behind the rocks, which apparently would be impossible if they were in the purpose for which the picture was taken. Photographs, therefore, would be false, which would show that the trip was a setup. The reality is that the soil of the moon is so bright that its flashes can eclipse of the grid before them, so this cannot be observed in full and appears to be coming from behind the image. In fact, if the images of the moon are seen, you will see that all gratings are distinguished worse if they are on a very dark surface, which are confused, or too bright, causing an effect of overexposure and cover with its brightness the reticle. It is no secret that the moon has no atmosphere and soil is much brighter than the earth so it is expected that some features of the images are different from what we would expect on our planet. This proves precisely that they are real. However, in a bright morning it is possible to mimic that effect here, overexposing some details of the landscape until these hidden parts of a reticle in the snapshot. Therefore, there is no mystery in this photographic effect and, indeed, it would not be too revealing if a doctored image is found, among thousands of which are true. In fact, some conspiracy theorists seem to have realized that some pictures may be false, and the true Apollo program as a whole. It is known, for example, that self Buzz Aldrin asked the producers of the film Apollo 13 quite a Hollywood success of the 90 part of its special effects footage because it views the offered launch of the spacecraft in this case, the marketer that had not been collected at the time. 
The argument that defend those who seek to prove that everything was a montage is that the alleged errors we see in snapshots were released deliberately by someone who wanted to show the world the scam. In this case, it should have done something that was not attributable to natural causes or, why not go on television to tell the tale? In the end, the technical details always end up endorsing the veracity of the trips to the moon, but suffice to dismantle the conspiracy theory that, so long, no involved said anything, despite the fortune that could pocketing if I did as it would be received as a hero in much of the world. Some pictures show irregularities in the shadows, they do not run parallel or astronauts have lit inside. Again, it comes irregularities due to the particular conditions of the moon, although both can be played back on Earth to demonstrate the falsity of the accusation. The objects and astronauts look good despite being in a shaded area they are not being illuminated by an artificial light source, but by the lunar soil itself, which reflects much of the radiation reaching it from the sun making this rebound towards the direction from which it came. Therefore, it can illuminate the astronauts when they are standing at the right place, as well as other vertical objects. As for the suggestion that the shadows should be parallel if they are illuminated by a single source the Sol, would respond that, if there were more light sources, also have more shadows, which does not happen in any instant. The reason they are not parallel, moreover, is because they are much farther than it seems, something that usually happens on the moon. On several occasions, geologists who followed the missions from the control center asked the astronauts to bow down to pick up a rock that seemed to be at his side, when in fact this was a good distance. When the sun is low and shadows are long, it is normal for objects that are at different distances shed no drop shadows. This also happens on Earth. The only difference is that in the strange and desert moonscape, where the absence of air causes very distant objects can be seen clearly, is much more difficult to realize the actual separation between two bodies. In any case, it should be noted that the sun is not the only light source that found the astronauts, as the Earth throws up to 68 more light on the moon's surface on our planet it on a full moon night. Moreover, the fact that the distances on the moon are so difficult to measure the eye has led conspiracy theorists to another error. Some have presented two images with the same background but with the difference that in one of them the lunar module, LM, is in the foreground and in the other, taken later, has disappeared. The explanation for this curious effect is that in the second snapshot, the astronaut has moved hundreds of meters to one side, so the LM, who was very close to him, no longer enters the plane. However, the background mountains almost identical much closer than it really standard in both photographs appear. A simple experiment can best explain this effect, known as parallax, just lift a pen on our face and observe its position on the merits that we face, both eyes blinking alternately. Although the pen is still ahead of us, it will appear that has moved according to eye with that look. If we move the head a few centimeters to one side, the pen will eventually disappear for one of our eyes, as happened with the LM in the second image. In the photographs are not stars. In fact, pictures taken on the lunar surface show no stars. As already said, the lunar soil is very bright, like the suit astronauts. The stars, however, not too bright on the lunar sky. No film can capture something very bright and very off simultaneously, either here or on the moon. The astronauts took photographs to capture illuminated objects and used very fast exposure, so it was impossible for the faint starlight slinks in snapshots. 
Some think that because they had no atmosphere, the moon should receive the light of distant stars with much more intensity than on Earth. However, the atmosphere of our planet hardly affects the visible radiation that comes from the stars, so they do not look better from space, nor from the lunar surface. This data can confirm any astronaut or space tourist who has left Earth. In fact, Armstrong said at the press conference that followed his trip that he could not see stars with the naked eye while walking on the moon, so it is no wonder that your camera does the pic. The missions Apollo, also developed on areas where it was daytime on the moon, which reduced the visibility of stars. A riddle itself is solved is why the accusation that the lunar program was a fraud, despite not having any basis, remains widespread. Circulates in any case, another alleged proof that everything was staged, even more absurd and photographs related to, how is it possible that astronauts will capture some images so perfect without being professional, some wonder. This accusation has the dubious distinction of being the one that shows ignorance about the reality of Apollo program. Enough to study for a few minutes these missions to realize that astronauts chosen from millions of citizens for their skill and intelligence, had to learn to do far more complex operations that take beautiful pictures of the moon especially considering that past year's training for it and had very expensive cameras designed especially for the occasion.